Hi again everyone, this is Iguan Twelve, and welcome back to To Craft or Not To Craft. Today we are going to uh, depose our lava buckets and we're going to set up a little trap for our friends, beloved iron golems, the guards of our important traders of all times. But sadly, you have to go, and that's that's not nice for you. But but you served it well. Um, yeah, it happens one at a time. Sadly, once one dies, the second one can come to the lava plate, just like that. And all of the great loot comes over here. And and to get them out here, I don't know if they still attack you. Yeah, 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 yeah. They <laughs> they do attack, but they are very slow. I just do that, and they do a lot of damage. Boy, that, that's not nice. But we just have to kill them. Um, friend, yeah, I guess this is the way they they act right now. Good grief, they they do uh, so much damage. Um, what what's what's the best way to 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 get them in there? Just keep a safe distance. And and push them in. I don't know, but there it is. A oh, lot of fine. Fourteen already, but they uh, they don't keep their minds very evil for 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 too long. They just attack if you you've done something terrible. Come in. Yes. Uh, I think that that's a problem. They they get stuck in in the doors. Uh, you like oh is he going to fall? No, he just attacks and chills out. That's not the way you're supposed to act. Be more angry. Be more angry. We need a knockback sword. That's what we need. Um. Do we have an, uh, a knockback sword somewhere? Um, this is... Well, yeah, two chickens over here. And the weird thing is, they got there by themselves. I didn't push them in. Uh, but I guess they choose their fate and um, so forth and so on. Um, but in today's episode, I don't have a plan, but... We can do some random things here and there, like that was fun to to do that. But oh yeah, the knockback saw. Let's check it out. I'm pretty sure I had one uh, upstairs. Alrighty, let's check. Yeah, sharpness three, knockback two. That's that's a nice sword. And this is the the best sword ever. Like, but the, the the saddest part is it's so good that you can't repair it in any way. So that sucks. But what are you going to do? Um, our plants over here. Let's just give a little tour of what do I have. That's a chest of cobble, cobble and ran random stuff. I am starting to feel it. It in with random stuff as well because now oh, this was full but we used a lot. See, we just have to do more projects, more and more and more pro projects, so we can use our blocks up because otherwise it's becoming too full with and e e everything like that. This the the dirt chest is all full, dirt and gravel. This is wood and wooden 
and good and good as well. But uh, well, maybe there's no point of showing what's in the or chests because we are shortly after this episode. Well, in a couple of future episodes, I mean, uh, we are going to. Uh, build a huge storage system and storage area down there, I should say. We are going to build it on water, like in uh, Venice, or oh, I, I don't know how to call that city in, in English. Venezia? Oh, you got the idea. Um, but, uh, Let's let's maybe uh, repair this bow. No, it's too not too shabby at the moment. Um, we have a lot of coal over here, some redstone ore, even some more ice, a lot of emeralds. Oh, I have an idea. What I did, it it looked really nice. Uh, I don't know. I I did that somewhere in other maps or servers. Um, the nether portals, we we are going to decorate it. Yeah, zombie, you stay away. Let's just sleep. Sleep really quick. But this uh, very few times when I'm using emeralds for decorating, at least in this world, because well, the, we are not going to trade t too too much. Because the trading has become very expensive, and the villagers don't want to trade like a thousand paper sheets um, at one time. You, you have to find each villager like every five trades, and that's that's just not very nice. And did we take our knockback? Oh, I forgot my knockback. I'll be right back. Alright, uh, this is the sword right here. See it? See it? Take that. They are acting like really phlegmatic, which is not too good for this situation. But at least we can nudge them in and they can get what they, they want. Uh, I don't think they drowned anymore. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, a lot of lots of iron. Um, let's just start start this uh, collection once again. I have this made for paper, like that, and there were some some iron blocks as well. I got like 16 iron blocks just from doing this. So we have to say thank you. Oh. Well, Oh, did you just spawn? Oh, he's very, very evil. Uh, let's, let's try to be sneaky here. Um. Hi! Oh, yeah, you didn't see that coming, did you? Uh, yeah. And if you get too close, I think if they are still angry, they, you, they will actually hit you through this stone. So that's not too lucky, I guess. Uh, but I, I ran out of food. So maybe today we are going to harvest, finally harvest our, our stuff. Um, uh, we'll, we, oh, we do have a minecart. How oh, nice. Uh, so head, uh, let's head over there and harvest our potatoes, we have some coal, we'll be able to cook them. Uh, but one thing I'm I'm uh, concerned about is if the farms are too far away from my, my base. If they are too far away, nothing nothing's, nothing would have grown in this time. And it seems like, yeah, nothing nothing's happened here. So possibly I'll just have to wait for the the great harvestion. Oh, oh, maybe 
How how can I have forgot about a thing? Yeah, there's bone meal in this game. What well, what's the deal with that? But of course I forgot to bring any because I I thought the the crops would have grown, but I guess not. So I'll head to my house. Certainly, bones are not problem for me. Uh, I have like a double chest full of them. So I will see you back here. Alrighty, I've brought uh, about five stacks of bone meal. Uh, just for future, if we need any, I'll put it in that chest right there. Um, but now, let's see the use bone meal. Uh, yeah, and nice addition to this game is you can just hold down this button and all the the plants will grow. Because before you you could do that, but the bo the the game would use more bone meal than it's needed. Like you could just use more and more to this particular crop, more and more bone meal, which was not very very convenient for for anyone. So it's fixed. You can just quickly do what you have to do, and let's flip the lever. I forgot to to place that sand over here. It's not supposed to be here, but here we go. Carrots for days. These two blocks are not getting housed, same as these. It's just a little problem you have to deal with. Uh, but oh, let's see how many did we get? More than a stack, stack and a half. And over here, same deal. No, well, not that much, but at least we are progressing over here. So, oh yeah, but this is the problem. Because I was just planting, but but it ate one. Did it eat one? I don't know. Um, let's see. Um, may I want to try some cooked potatoes as well. Let's just uh, replant some. There's a chance y you you can get a poisonous potato. I don't know what's the the deal with that, but well, I guess at some point we'll 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 check it out if we get any. So that's that. Let's plant some more, and uh, let's also well let's bake eight. That's a number w worth one coal. And then we'll end this episode. Let's see here. Oh, we had some coal in there. And three or even four drumsticks. I think three. And the here it is. Baked potato. First one in this world. Ah. And also I think um I think the y you can make uh night vision and invisibility potions with carrots. Um and that's really cool especially for NPC or um SMP servers. Yeah, or any kinds of servers, PvP and stuff. It's 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 really, really interesting. How can you tro troll, troll people and uh, and uh, prank them and just fool around with uh, this invisibility potion? For um, in in single player, it's not too too convenient or handy at any sort. So that's that. But I think you got the idea of this farm. It's working pretty nicely. Um, we will have uh, tons and tons of vegetables. Uh, at at, uh, at the beginning, I'll be using bone meal just to 
to speed this process up a bit and why am I doing this way? I have these these great points. It it works for bone meal as well. Just like that. Run and the second line as well. And it's very very convenient and nice for using. Just like that. So I say thanks for watching and have a great day.